with Angel Creations. I hope everybody is doing well. I am off doing some errands today and I thought I would take you along with me. I have to um, just do a whole bunch of errands but I thought that I would get on here and gab a little bit to you. I don't know if any of you have been seeing the new epoxy pens that I'm making. OMG, I am having so much fun making these pens. They are um, not going to be a big money maker probably because they, they're almost $2 a pen. And then there's probably $3 worth of epoxy, glitter, um, vinyl. So I'm going to sell them for about $8 a pen. I know they're all over the internet right now. And I think I've seen them go for $10 and $12. But I don't want a price gouge so I am going to start my pens off at an $8 range and I'm going to go to a big craft fair on February 27th in Dade City, Florida and um, I'm going to be selling my tumblers and my cups and I've made earrings and um, mask holders. This is a mask holder. If you can see it, I'm driving, but it goes around your neck and then you can just put on your mask. When you're doing errands like I will be today, you can just put it on and then when you're all done and you come out of the store, you just drop it. It doesn't fall on the ground. And then when you need to go back into the next door, it's right here around your neck. So I'll be selling those and a whole bunch of doodads. I'm also going to be selling some primitive um, home goods like um, galvanized buckets and... Um, good stuff, you know, good stuff. I can't even think of everything that I'll, but it's good stuff. And then my sister-in-law, Judy, is coming too, or actually we're doing it together. And she has beautiful wreaths. And she's making these gorgeous, gorgeous birdhouses. So, um, if you are a local peep, to me, make sure you come check us out on February 27th, and it will be in Dade City behind Jarrett Ford. Actually, uh, it's going to be on Old Lakeland Highway, so you don't have to go behind Jarrett Ford. You can just pick up Old Lakeland Highway in Zephyr Hills, I believe, So or Dade City. So, um, Maybe as it gets closer, I'll have a definitive um, address that I can put in. But if you're local and you're interested, give me a call um, or text me or message me on Facebook and I can give you some more information about that. So I am going to Wesley Chapel today. Florida, which is a couple of towns away. I love Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel has everything you would ever need. It's a bigger city, but it's got the, all the stores. It's got the strip, and it's got, you know, um, it's called Bruce B. Downs, and there is nothing you can't find if you're looking for it on Bruce B. Downs. So my hair is growing out, right? I'm letting it grow. And, um, and it's, it's been a pain, but it's going in my ears and it, so don't mind me, it's tickling my ears. <laughs> so I'm not picking my ears, but I am itching them because the hair, little hairs are just long enough now to go in there. 
so I don't think I need my AC on that much. It's not that hot out today. It's warm. I don't really know what the temperature is, but um, it's a beautiful day. So yeah, back to Wesley Chapel has everything. It's got everything. I can't, you know, any store you would need, it, it's there. So I have to go down for an appointment, but when I'm all done with my appointment, I'm going to check out the Dollar Tree. Actually, there's two of them there, so I might check out both. Also, they have, where, right near where I'm going to be today, they have a Michael's. And I would like to go into Michael's and look for some glitter. And um, because of those beautiful pens I'm making, I want to find some chunky glitters that have little things in them, like shapes, like hearts or stars or just cute little things. So I thought I'd pop into Michael's and check that out. And... Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing today, and um, I just thought I'd get on here and vlog with you, and uh, I'm going to take you for a quick little ride now. It's a beautiful ride. Enjoy the ride, and I'll see you in a little bit. loves when I take her for a ride in Florida. She's up in cold, cold New Hampshire and um, she loves when I take all of you angels for a ride with me when I'm in the car. I won't keep it on too long but it is a pretty drive through here. This is where all the colleges are. We're coming up to um, St. Leo College. It's beautiful. Beautiful day here. Later on, I might take you through a drive through store. Yep, you heard me right. A drive through store. We have several of them here locally to me and that's what you do you absolutely you just drive through the store and you tell them what you want and they run around and get it for you it's very easy to do and it's no more expensive than any other you know convenience store and it's great very very um I can't think of the word convenient, but that wasn't the word I'm thinking of, but it's great to have. So, a lot of people have never seen a drive through store. So, watch out for that later. Alright, so that's it for right now. I am going to... Um, take you off of the camera right now and I will pop back on in a little while. Alright everybody, see you soon. See the car behind me? It has two big mouse ears. <laughs> it's an exterminator. There's a car behind me with two big mouse ears and it's an exterminator. Alright, just wanted to show you. Okay, I went to the Dollar Tree, Wesley Chapel. I found a few things, but nothing really, um, nothing really spectacular. I'm looking for some of the new storage containers they have coming out in all the pretty colors. I have a 
cabinet in my bathroom that I want to reorganize and I was looking for all those pretty color um, organizing bins but they didn't have any here so no biggie I just like to try out different Dollar Trees when I'm near them so now I have to go to Wally World. I have to pick up a couple of, um, okay. Well, back a few months we had a hurricane and, um, or actually it wasn't a hurricane. It was more of a tropical storm. I can't remember the name of it. There's so many of them, but it took off my canopy off of my gazebo and um, I am just going to instead of replacing it I mean I'm going to replace it but instead of purchasing another canopy that belongs to the gazebo I own I am going to Walmart to get some canvas drop and I am going to sew a couple of them together and then I am going to drape them over my gazebo and um, kind of make the like curtain -y, like I don't know it's hard to explain but I will take a picture of it when I am done but at any rate I have to go to Wally World now and pick up a couple of those drop cloths. I think I'm getting them like 10 by 12 or 9 by 12 maybe. That's why I have to sew a couple of them together. Um, I think my, my vision for it is really cute. I'm hoping it comes out as cute as I think it's going to. But I need a cover. We have no shade in my yard. And um, my gazebo is my happy place, and I'm really missing it. And it's really getting warm, and um, I can't really sit out there without the shade. So that's what my next stop is going to be. So how about a little cruise to Wesley Chapel for a minute? Let's see how long it's day. Oh well, sorry, my phone's falling. Out, so it's not gonna stay so I'll get off here for now and talk to you in a bit okay I am all done with my errands I had to go to two Walmarts though um, <clears throat> the first Walmart didn't have my drop cloths you know the canvas heavy-duty drop cloths um, so <clears throat> I had to go to another town go to that Walmart but I am done it is 1 51 in the afternoon and I am going home to do some epoxy pens so um, maybe I'll take you with me when I um, start epoxying and glittering and doing all the things that I do so sorry my music is on um, so yeah so I've been um, probably 50 miles today. Started out in Dade City, went all the way to Wesley Chapel, went back to Dade City, and then Zephyr Hills, and now home. And, um, yeah. So, I got what I needed eventually, and I'm gonna go home now and make myself a cup of coffee and go into my craft room and epoxy some pens. Alright, well thanks for joining me on my errands and um, I have a small Dollar Tree haul that will come up in a couple of days and yeah, so maybe I'll see you when I'm epoxying pens. And hey, this is a great time to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell and thanks for doing all the things. Okay, everybody, I am back home and in my craft room and I am doing my pens. Let me show you these. So what it is, is it starts out, it's a paper make 
ink joy pen. It starts out looking like this. Okay, just a simple pen. And then I put them, I take all the guts out and put them on a pencil. So this is what I have left. I have a hollow, can you see? A hollow tube now that I have glittered and epoxied. So there's that. And I now need to clean these. These just came off the turner and they are going to get cleaned up um, and then I'm going to put all the guts back inside of them and then this is what we have. Let me show you. We have this has a little vinyl on it on both sides. So there's a purple one and then we have a blue one and then we have this cool one that's got washi tape on it. So cool. Then we have a wood grain. Looks like a piece of wood with knots that I made. And then I have a couple of pink ones. One has my name. Jill, but aren't they beautiful pens? And the best part about these are they're refillable. Here's another one with um, washi tape and um, some vinyl leaves on it. Pretty cool. And this black one has feathers on it. You can see. So they're really fun. And then this one, let's see, we got a couple. We have this beautiful purple that I'm going to decorate. And this beautiful tri-colored, I don't know, pretty. And then we have a green one that is going to my daughter. And then we have a two-tone. I tried to do an ombre. I'm bad at ombres. I just I do exactly what I see everybody else do, but they just they don't mix. And then this one also is two colors. A little more subtle. So that's what I'm going to do right now is um, work on my pens and put this video out there so you can see what I've been doing all day. Alright, so everybody be well, be safe, and don't forget to wear your mask. Bye now.